Hello everybody, Jonathan here from Innovative Outdoors BIM. Now today we've got some exciting news. We're going to take a look at the new Twin Motion 2020 trailer. And as you can see, it's playing in the background. We are super impressed and extremely excited about the new features that look like they're coming. What we can see so far is that the rendering quality looks like it's been improved dramatically. But the other big announcements are to do with content libraries. And we're going to take a look at these in a bit more detail. But as you can see, the trees, the people, everything looked pretty awesome. So Epic have announced that the new Twin Motion 2020 is going to include some libraries of XFROG plants. Now, I've been using XFROG for a number of years. I used to use them with Cinema 4D. And I can honestly say they are absolutely fantastic quality. And over the years, they've just got better and better. So they work with a wide range of 3D software. And they've been used heavily in things like the film industry and gaming industry. So these are going to be amazing to have in an architectural rendering package like Twinmotion. So we're super excited about the new XROD plants and see where this goes. Um, so if you're interested, click on the website and just visit and just see the kind of quality that we're going to be getting inside Twinmotion 2020. So next up, we're going to take a look at the new people by XYZ. So these are really beautiful. If you look at the kind of quality, uh, this is a company that specializes in 3D models and renderings for uh, human forms. And in fact, you can actually see that we've got the uh, Twin Motion Trailer 2020 twi teaser being highlighted on the front of their webpage. So it's well worth a visit to the site to kind of get a bit of a feel for the kind of quality that's coming. So let's have a look at some of the people. I think you'll agree. Let's click on these guys here. Um, it's really nice. It kind of loads in and you know, you get a really good spin around this romantic couple. Um, so you can see the quality of the people is significantly uh, higher than what we're seeing in the current twin motion. So expect these to be animatable. Um, hopefully they, you can still change the poses and things like the clothing as well. But yeah, really, really excited about the new people because that was always one of the things that, you know, you always spotted if you had a rendering, if the people didn't look natural, um, people would always be drawn to, you know, their attention would always be drawn to those people that maybe kind of jarred the image slightly. So with realistic people, there's no real reason not to populate your images, um, you know, in a lot more kind of detail. I'm really looking forward to seeing how these pan out and seeing what kind of integration we have. Um, whether there be some free libraries and there may be some additional ones that you can purchase, um, potentially that is the model. But we don't have any information on that at all at the moment. We'll just have to wait and see. But what do you guys think of the new people? I think these are going to be pretty awesome. So next up, we're going to take a look at the Quicksaw website. Here you can see uh, they've joined forces. Epic Games acquired Quixel a little while ago, and there was a big announcement about that. So that was really exciting for I think, things like Unreal Engine users. But the idea that Quixel could be integrated into the next Twin Motion is super exciting. Uh, the quality of the resources is incredible. It's an absolutely massive library of 3D assets. You can see um, we've been using it for a little while. Let's just explore. I think I'm logged in as myself at the moment, but you know the kind of assets that you get with Quixel are just fantastic. The quality, the bump mapping, uh, the diffusion maps and the alpha channels, everything about them is absolutely incredible. And the models are really beautiful as well. So it's just an amazing library of assets, um, of kind of everything you could ever imagine for all the natural things and all the architectural surf surfaces you could ever need. Um, these decals, for example, absolutely awesome for adding lots and lots of nice detail to your models. So yeah, really super excited about that. You'll see we've got a nice little movie here. So this will kind of tell us a bit more, give you a bit more background into what Quixel is all about and how uh, this integrates into Twin Motion 2020. We're going to have to wait and see. But again, maybe maybe there'll be some free libraries and maybe there'll be the option to acquire or pay for more. Who knows? But, you know, this is going to be a super, super resource um, that we can use in Twinmotion 2020. So what a fantastic integration. Let's take a final look at the trailer one more time. It deserves to be watched a couple of times. It just looks amazing. These trees in this scene that they've shown us in the 2020 teaser are incredible. But if you look carefully, you'll notice that things like the shadows and the reflections 
Um, other things like that seem to be vastly improved in terms of render quality. It's a lot more realistic. Definitely the people and the vegetation and even the movement of those people just looks far more realistic than the um, previous or the current twin motion. So, I don't know what you guys think about the latest Twin Motion 2020 trailer, but in the meantime, we've been making lots of tutorials, and this is one of our most recent ones on Falling Water by Frank Lloyd Wright. So, if you'd like to check out what the current Twin Motion can do while it's still free, um, do do that, get it downloaded, and have a go. Now, we don't have any information at all on whether Epic are going to charge for the later Twin Motion. I imagine they will in the future. We'll have to wait and see what happens when that's released. But in the meantime, um, it's an incredible bit of software that you can get for free. We made this video just purely really for enjoyment and we've done a tutorial series. So if you're interested in learning how to use the software right the way through from beginning to end, looking at things like the landscape, uh, the materials, the vegetation, sculpting the landscape, even adding things like the waterfall, the birds, the life, the decals and the lighting and the furniture, please check out our tutorials and we'll look forward to hopefully seeing you join the channel. Take care. Bye-bye.